So, now we were talking of Vivaji Raga and how um, the same Swarasthana has two names and I also mentioned that it is only in the context of a Raga in which both these Swarasthanas are there that this will take on this name or in a Raga which has both this ninth and tenth will we have Nivan. Otherwise by default the tenth Swarasthana is Dhatu that is what it is but when we have Dhavan also then this twelfth tenth Swarasthana if it is used then it becomes Nivan. And there is definitely an unavoidable element of discordance when we sing and this is what is called um, uh, the flaw of dissonance or vivadi dosha. So, what is vivadi? Vivadi actually belongs to an ancient uh, cluster of concepts, a quartet actually. They are Vadi, Samvadi, Anuvadi and Vivadi. This quartet is found in uh, texts like Natya Shastra and um, in today's um, parlance also uh, in Hindustani music this quartet is uh, actually used by musicians and musicologists. Um, it's, it's a part of pedagogy. In fact, how a raga is taught is also in terms of uh, trying to uh, understand how what the vadi samvadi are. In Carnatic music, um, though the concepts are there, uh, the ideas are there, they don't find people using the words vadi samvadi, but vivadi is very much part of. Um, contemporary Carnatic um, discourse. So, the underlying uh, idea for this in this uh, quartet, Vadi Samvadi and Vadi Vivadi, is definitely the idea of consonance of and dissonance. Now, as I have uh, mentioned before, some swaras, some notes in a in a in an octave will have a relationship of consonants sa pa sa pa this is a relationship of they sound pleasant together sa ma a a these are all relations between notes that are Pleasant, that are consonant. There is da 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 pa ma pa ma or sari sari ni sa ni sa ni sa. There is a dissonance in. They are not pleasant. It's not pleasant. Da 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 na. These are dissonant. Uh, so, if you have, for example, uh, this is sa. Uh, sa ma. So, this swara is has a relationship of consonants with sa. Sa pa. Again, consonant. Sa ri. So, ri would be described as a vivadi of sa. And this, and this can be done with any swara at all. If you take ga, for instance, ga ni is usually it's always consonant. It, there is a relationship of consonants between ga and ni, or ga and dha, but not between ga ga. This is a relationship of discordance. So, when you um, 
the idea of the, the concepts of vadi samvadi anvadi and vivadi are essentially um, concerned with some fundamental principles of melody uh, when you are creating a melodic piece of music and you need to organize it in a coherent way one way of going about it is to highlight one swara one note as the most prominent and build the melody ar- around it that would give it some kind of a coherence otherwise it's going to be everywhere all over the place so one way of giving a tight knit a coherent uh, melodic piece would be to to emphasize one note to to bring that into prominence and let the other swaras work their way towards it work around it to create patterns around this prominent swara and there would be definitely some swaras that are consonant with this prominent note this prominent note is what would be called vadi and the other swaras one or two which are consonant with them with this note those would be called samvadi and the rest of the swaras would be in order of decreasing a level of consonance with the prominent note so we have anuvadi swaras and the vivadi swara which is completely discordant with the prominent note now this is the original idea of vadi samvadi anuvadi and vivadi though um, how they are actually described in text is in terms of shruti intervals so a vivadi swara is uh, something that has that is at an interval of two shrutis from the uh, basic shruti swara so you have uh the uh so na da this is something that is discordant because it's an interval of two shrutis but the idea is that basically of uh consonance and dissonance the um brahadeshi we have a a verse which talks about this यदवादीस्वरेण रागस्य रागत्वं जनितं तन् निर्वाहकत्वं नाम संवादित्वं यत् संवादिना रागस्य रागत्वं संपादितं वाद्यादिभिः स्वरैः यत् रागस्य वादित्वं संवादित्वं अनुवादित्वं प्राप्तं तत् विनाशकत्वं नाम विवादित्वं दैट फ्रॉम व्हिच द मेलोडी ऑफ ब्यूटी ऑफ राग अराइजेस इज वादी that which helps establish the melody of a raga is the samvadi and that which helps promote it is the anuvadi and that which destroys it is the vivadi now vivadi is basically applied to a swara so when you have identified one swara as the vadi of the raga the most important swara of the raga then there will be some swaras which are vivadi which might destroy which will destroy the raga that is that seems to be the idea here and in fact in contemporary hindustani music we follow roughly the same idea that vadi is like the king of the raga and samvadi is like the prime minister the anuvadi are the rest of the ministers whereas vivadi is the enemy vivadi is a, is a swara which is not permitted in a raga that is in fact the concept of vivadi etc in contemporary hindustani music but vivadi in contemporary carnatic music has taken uh, a life of its own after the um melakarta system came into place any raga which has this swara i'm not talking this swara sthana any raga which has this swara that is shuddha gandhara and therefore it can have shuddha gandhara only if shuddha rashabha is also there at least if this is only the swara sthana 3 is there then it could be re2 any raga which has the swara sthana i'm sorry any raga 
which has this swara G1 or R3 or M1 or Tha3 any raga which has these swaras that is a vivadi raga so in contemporary carnatic music vivadi is also applied to vivadi in fact is primarily applied to we only talk of vivadi ragas or vivadi melas and what is a vivadi mela or a vivadi raga it is a raga or a mela which uses in which we have this swara please note i am not saying this swara sthana this swara that is g1 shuddha gandhara shuddha gandhara will appear in a raga only when you also have shuddha rishabha if you don't have shuddha rishabha then this swarasthana will always be read to but if you have both these swarasthanas then this will be re1 and this will become g1 now this is any raga which has g1 or by the same argument re3 if a raga has this this swarasthana by default it will be g2 that will be g2 the swarasthana will be called g2 only then it also has this swarasthana fifth then this will be called re3 there is mm, uh, uh, no by default this is actually g2 or what is called sadharana gandhara sada but suppose the same raga has also this swarasthana da da then this will be g3 and this will become re3 sari ga da 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 we'll say sari ga sari ga ga ma pa ma ga ma re sa so this is any raga which has re3 and the same argument any raga which has ni1 or any raga which has dha3 those are called vivadi raga vivadi raga or that particular mela might be vivadi raga or vivadi mela and it has really opened up um, this 72 melakatha scheme has really opened up the possibilities of melodic combinations of tonal combinations what are the tones that we can use to make music at least it's not really very uh, natural to think of a combination like this sadigara ma pa ma ga ra 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 na ra sa ri ga ri sa this because of the 72 mela katas that all these newer possibilities have been thrown open for whatever it is worth it does make some interesting melodies we do have some interesting ragas because of this system in fact the number of such vivadi melas is 40 40 vivadi melas are there and um, 32 uh, regular normal melas are there let us now listen to a composition in avivadi raga 
Samela Karta Raga, Gangeya Bhushani. This is a composition of Tyagaraja. It has been rendered by Ramakrishnan Murthy, a young and highly accomplished, very sensitive musician. He is accompanied by R.K. Sri Ramkumar, a senior Vidwan on the violin, Arun Prakash, a very sensitive accompanist on the Mridangam, and B. Anirudh on the Kanjira. This composition says every Ramaya. Tyagaraja asks, who Rama is equal to you? Who can possibly match you? And the mood of the Raga poignantly captures this sentiment. Gangeya Bhushani is the 33rd Melakarta Raga and it takes Ritri, the Shatshruti Rishabha, which is why it is a Vivadi Raga. Yeah. <laughs> 
Sadiyo, where? 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 Where?